Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace and blessings be upon you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Rabul Alameen wa salatu wa salamu Allah ashrafil umbaya wal i muslim. Sayyidina Muhammadu wa Allah alihi wa sahabahi ajma'in wa ma alayna illa alagu mabin. Greetings to everyone uh, here to support this event and particularly greetings to my brothers and sisters. I am a proud Muslim and a leader in the New Zealand Police. I am horrified, as are all my colleagues in the New Zealand Police, around the events in Christchurch yesterday. I know this is a very, very distressing time for our Muslim community in particular, but to everyone in our communities. In New Zealand and also right around the world. We want to reassure you, we are doing everything we can to ensure victims of this devastating attack are treated with the utmost respect we are working with the Muslim community and community leaders to provide us as much support to everyone affected by this tragedy. You will have seen an increased police presence in Christchurch, in Auckland, and in fact nationwide, particularly around our mosques and Islamic centres. This is a precautionary measure to ensure the safety of not only our brothers and sisters, but for our communities all around New Zealand. I wish to reiterate the message. If you see anything at all suspicious, please call 111. Do not hesitate. I want our Muslim community in particular to know, and the people of Christchurch to know, that we stand with you and we all share in your grief and in your pain. We, the New Zealand Police, will do everything we can to support our wider community and in particular our Muslim communities. Inshallah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun. It is actually a very sad moment in a way that we have gathered here as a very large community, but the, but the reason of the actions that drove here, us here, aren't that great. But what I take from this is New Zealand community, irrespective of their religion, their culture, their creed, whatever background they came from, they've all come together and supported us. I just wanted to briefly just, I must have probably received thousands of emails and phone calls in the last 30 hours. I know I haven't responded to all of them, probably the vast majority of them I haven't even answered. I just want you to know that we appreciate that and I wasn't able to answer them and we weren't able to respond to them. Inshallah, God willing, we will respond to the emails that I received in due course. But I just want you to know we really appreciate all the effort, all, all the wishes that you have sent. I just want to also talk about New Zealand Police, how they mobilise themselves in support of the community. It was absolutely amazing. I just want to say thank you to the parliamentarian and MPs that rang me even late last night when we were just having discussions of what needs to be done for the community. And I really appreciate that, and that is really um, much appreciated from the community. Let me actually give a message to those haters. You're not going to scare us. You're not going to frighten us. <laughs> the 
we are New Zealanders. We will stand together. And if anybody is isolated, it's you, the haters. We will overcome that hate with the love and the compassion that our, our um, religion and our nation treats us. So all I ask is please, I know emotions are running really high, especially in our community. There's a lot of anger, there's a lot of frustration. I again keep urging to all community members and all New Zealanders, please use your head before you use it, do any actions because we need to make sure we do not respond to those haters with hate. We can only respond to them the best way we can is to love. And we should pray for them because they are obviously unhappy, they're unwell. Nobody in their cult who is normal will do an act like what they did. That is not normal. Nobody can tell me that's normal. They have problems and we pray for them. We pray, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them. Help them overcome that anger. Help them overcome that hate and bring love into their hearts, into their families, into communities, into New Zealand and the globe. It's like a lot of fear.